Hello everyone. Um, this one is going to be called. Uh, it's going to be called something with fireworks. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it'll catch each other, isn't it? But um, basically, I had seen this photo. I had seen this photo on like rape, something things are called rape on rapists, and you know I had rapists tipped in this box sort of thing, you know that rape sort of thing. Um, my conclusion as far as um rape or anything to do with pain, trauma is that trauma begets trauma, ignorance begets ignorance, but just like acceptance um, begets or breeds acceptance. So uh, I got a bit passionate with it because I'm very analytical. Um, to behaviors and looking at society and going from personal experiences and that sort of stuff, you know, because we've all been through some fucked up shit, had some screw up shit happen to us and it's affected us in a certain way. And, and, you know, yeah, you know, we've all been through different experiences, different situations, it's affected us differently, it's all given us set behaviors and stuff like that. But I got a bit passionate, I wrote a bunch of shit. And so I'm gonna read it to you guys, and I don't want you to just. No, I want you to listen to the whole thing. It's not that long, but I want you to listen to the whole thing before you make a judgment about it, because I sort of get pretty deep into all this stuff. Okay. So here I go. I know this will go against the grain, against a lot of conventional thinking, but I believe pain and trauma can cause emotional error which can trigger reactions and alter behaviours in some ways and affect people differently from person to person, as we are all different. If this were not the case, we would not have things like fetishes and people liking new things as they grew older and were conformed to model behaviours whilst taking societal pressures and stuff. Lol. I personally believe that if these people get help and learn how to process the emotional error associated with the behaviour pattern and response action, which is then brought on by trauma, because once again, we all get affected by things differently, you know, they will change, and the people who do this weird scripture will change. None of us here are saints, and we have all had our down moments, so who are we to judge when we have done wrong ourselves, you know, and there, through some of whether it's substance abuse, or it's just or that, we've all had something, you know, that we've been through that has affected us to behave a certain way. With me, a lot of it was um, substance abuse and stuff like that, you know, like I used to smoke a little pot. Um, to cope with my pain and this and that was cigarettes and, uh, you know, yeah. But, moving on. I believe there is a tribe in Africa whom instead of punishing people who do crime, they will get together and do everything in their power to make that person feel loved. It is the exact same way that the success stories of those whom suffer from mental illness. Yeah. Is coming back into love and acceptance of life in yourself again, and that's my experience with the mental illness. Like, like um, you know, why these substances, why I had that issue, and why, um, you know, because it regresses your coping patterns. So like, you know, the smoke pot, you know, for stress away. And so I had to come to terms with the emotional error that triggered me and made me heavily dependent on pot. And once I had gotten all of those emotional errors down and gone through my and processed all the emotion, you know, which triggered me to, you know. Pretty much crave the way it's like crazy, but, you know. Um, I got off the drugs, you know, then I went to a lot of cigarettes and I feel good, you know. And yeah. We need to teach people about love and happiness, because in life without these things, life is void, numb, and has no feeling. And through this disassociation of feeling from reality, do people seem mad or crazy to others? And this manifests differently from person to person. Because once again, we are all different. Love yourself and teach others the same. No more blame games as we are adults. Take responsibility for your happiness. It is never too late to accept and move through the motions of emotion to feel the reality at present. A lot of us preach about love and light, but how many of you are really firm about it and willing to give it to people who have lost all recognition of it? Yes, going to the darkness and spreading light is a lot work, work and not pussyfooting in fields of flowers or that. Krishna is associated with the moon and us in our most powerful state as avatars. The moon being the formless embodied within the form and reflecting the sun via the cosmic consciousness into the night, ignorance, ego. 
Ja, han svarer til sådan så. <laughs> ja, hold på at være den sådan dyrke, hvis jeg siger. I'm sun slash father slash cosmic slash cosmic slash cosmic slash cosmic slash arrogant slash ego. Right. Right. If you aren't willing to face the darkness and transform yourself, how can you even think of transforming others? Love is the solution to everything, and the highest understanding first comes from acceptance. If you cannot come to acceptance with just everyday occurrence, especially life and death, you're not going to have any true sense of God's spirituality. Because in order to experience that on a conscious level, you must be willing to consciously take your awareness beyond the very sense or senses of survival were in which you cling to life. You must learn to simply be, and this itself is not only an acceptance of all, but is literally a way into seeing the truth and God in everything, including such messed up people. So recognizing the heart, you know, the goodness in people, and believing in them, you know. If you do not have compassion for the people who are most tormented and choose to only and you choose to only give light to those whom are already in the circle of light and enlightened, then you are one ignorant fool. Lead by example and follow those you look up to. Walk in the steps of Buddha, Jesus, Krishna, it is said. One last thing. Jesus was born of a virgin, and I interpret the Bible metaphorically, so that's my way of doing things. So Jesus was born of a virgin. So Jesus was born into this world through innocence and maintained this purity. You know, through that innocence, there was a sense, you know. Uh, this sense of purity, innocence, and openness gave him all well, you guys the impression that he is the son of God. When all that is telling you, and this is my opinion once again, is that through our innocence, purity, and acceptance, we are aspects of the living that is God, Christ. It all starts with having a good heart, and that applies to everybody. So through maintaining that innocence, that purity, that openness, you know, that non-perverted, non-stuff, through maintaining our childhood innocence, we have the sense of God. And a lot of that is to do with acceptance, just, and just being, and stuff like that, and just... <sighs> yeah, and so that I'm a bit pissed off, but I'm a bit passionate. But, um, you know, like, we've, we've all got emotional error, it's all affected us in different ways. What's not to say that this emotional error has affected those people in that way? You know? We can't really judge, because we have not really been in this situation. We're not them, we don't think like that, you see? And yeah, and I had some chicken just over here in the gym. I don't get it like, like, and then when I work out, I get aggressive. And then it's like when I eat chicken, I'm like, maybe not after I work out. I get something more aggressive, my muscles, they tense up a bit. It's so weird, it's so weird. But you, but you crave it, it's weird, like, otherwise I feel lethargic if I don't get, like, some meat in me, which is it. Not meat in that way, you suck like, No, 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 that's a joke. Not meat in that way. <laughs> yeah. But um yeah. Um much love, much light. And yeah, namaste. And I hope you enjoy this. Okay. Oh and please subscribe if you enjoy the sort of thing, you know, my rants or whatever. You know, cause it's good for discussion. Alright. Love, light, namaste, bye. Yeah.